Hello everyone, what's up? Just gonna wait here for a bit. And before we begin. How's it going? Say hi in the chat. And I can give a shout out, but I always butcher everybody's name because not many people are from the U.S. who watch me. Mati Ja, is that, is that how do you pronounce your name? How's it going? What's up, JVS? Follow me. Okay, you're just Abdul. What's up? Holy Semtex. Bilal. Baman. Joseph. There we go. There's an easy one. Adele. Adel, I don't know. William, what's up? Mattia, okay. Bob. See, I can get Bob right, that's for sure. Patrick, no name. Squeeze box. Here we go. Marson. All right. Okay, so. Just give me about 30 more seconds and I'll begin my spiel. And this is once again, a regular review submission. And uh, Austin is my favorite person in the world. Uh, indeed, it is for the Margarita Fund. Uh, Austin has been giving me money, I think for the past four weeks in a row for Super Chats, which is I... Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, which has, is a way to contribute, because I drink margaritas every uh, every Friday night in a very girly fra fashion. Me and the family go out. All right, awesome stuff. Okay, all right, let's get started here. So uh, this time I'm going to start off by mentioning the sponsor, which is Skillshare.com, and at Skillshare. Which I'm going to move this off screen just for a second is an online community uh, for learning a ton of things in our field of interest, which is UI, UX design, uh, film production, fine art, graphic design, illustration. They have thousands of classes, and you can uh, try all of them, 100% of them, free for two months if you use my link in the description over there. And it's also in the YouTube channel. Just use that. Uh, and you have two months completely free and they sponsor my live streams. So definitely sign up and check them out. Uh, a lot of the UI UX uh, courses will help you a lot with a lot of the things that I'm critiquing people with this live design review. All right, so what is this? Basically, if you're new to this, I do these live streams every Friday. Uh, and most of the time I'm doing design reviews. So what you can do is if you have a design that you design, whether it be um, like a UI design, a identity or a logo design or a print design or some type of graphic design even, uh, you can go to Discord. It, the link's in the description. It's a free chat app. You come to my server and you go to the review submissions channel and you submit your design where like other people are doing right now. Uh, and just please just submit one and make sure it's not something you submitted before and I will review it and I will also rate it and the channel will also rate it in the, the YouTube chat. All right, so very cool stuff. Um, also something new, brand new that I'm starting this week is we have a contest section of Discord. And if you go there and you click on this week's challenge, you're gonna see our design challenge. I may actually start doing code challenges as well, like doing JavaScript and all that cool stuff. Uh, but for this particular challenge, uh, this is design challenge number one, is a logo design challenge. And this will provide you with all of the requirements and, and all that good stuff. So basically it's gonna be a fictional logo for a company called Splitter. Uh, and it's based on an app idea that allows roommates to split the bill. And your task is to design a logo for it. So they have all the rules here. Uh, the deadline is next Thursday night. So it's like around seven days from now uh, that you have to submit. 
and it ends at 12 a.m. Eastern Time, March 7th. And myself and the moderators will choose the winner. In next week's live stream, I will mention the winner and also honorable mentions on the live stream itself. All right, so definitely check this out and then you can submit here, but make sure you follow the rules about how to submit and all that good stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go to review submissions. I'm gonna take the first one I got which I started accepting them an hour ago. All right. Oh, and by the way, I never get through all these. So if you do want to you know, make it so that I can see your submission, definitely click on the super chat, not see your submission, but review your site or your design or whatever, click on super chat, put in an amount, and then your Discord username in the message and hit enter. And I will get to it for sure in your thrust to the very beginning of the line. Okay. Enough talking. Let's get started. I was opening this up off screen just because people can troll me sometimes. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is adjust this so that the chat window is not showing up on top. Okay. Let's refresh this just to see if there's any uh, animation occurring. We'll translate it. All right. A very in-your-face video that we have for the hero section. I'm just going to scroll down more and check out more of what's happening so I can get a good gather on what I think should be improved. Okay. Very first thing. This video uh, background is is just just too much happening. I mean, very in your face. I can understand, you know, maybe that's what you're going for. And maybe it's not even about the video itself, but it's about the contrast, really. Um, there's, it, it's, there's a lot happening, and it makes it kind of hard to focus on this important information right here. What I would do, and I, I, whenever it comes to, like, either photograph backgrounds or these video backgrounds, and you have content on top, like type typography-based content that's important that people can read, uh, is you know increase the contrast. And you do that by making this either darker, if the foreground uh, elements are white or light, uh, or making it lighter if the foreground elements are darker. All right, so I would just make uh, take this into your video editor, make it dark. Um, outside of that, everything seems uh, nothing seems too off up here all right this seems a little bit too large just for this viewport these icons and in, in relation to this i would shrink down the icons quite a bit maybe about 50 percent of their current size maybe push this down a little bit uh, from this area increase see so you could have this amount of white space here but you have a like a almost half the amount up here so it's throwing off the flow of the design let me hit read there Probably the same um, critique about this area, although I, I do like the separation of the icons and the, the titles and subtitles. Again, more white space here on this viewport. So push things down from here and also down from here. This is uh, this is pretty good. This section's pretty good, white space all around. That's the type of white space I'm talking about. So you, you have uneven white space. Look at that. Yep, yeah, this up here and then just... A, a little mount right here so make it all even all right thanks for this submission i what do you guys think this should be rated i'm gonna rate it a well i'm not gonna rate it yet but what do you think on a scale of one to ten one being the worst ten being best let me know in the chat what you think this uh, design should get rated based on their execution of the design of the ui itself let me know what you think so we got some six, we got five, five, seven, seven, six, four. Let me think about what I would say based on what I've seen. Yeah, I'm going to say a six. Yeah, you could be definitely improved. Uh, maybe a 5.5. Um, uh, yeah, thanks for the submission. So let's go on. Do the next one. All right, this is from somebody whose name I won't try to butcher. All right. Okay, this one. All right, let me refresh to see if there's any 
animation. Yes, there is. Okay. Got one issue, but I'll mention it in a bit. Scroll activated animations. It's pretty nice. I like that. I'm going to refresh something right here. Okay. All right. So the first thing that I notice is being quite off about this is this button right here. Um, this should be right here, not pushed over here. It's throwing off the flow of the design a lot. Also, this text, see how software, it goes outside of this little border right here. Um, really, this should be on, an, uh, on a next line. So con should be the last word here, and then this will be over here because it's pushing too close to, to this area right here, so it clutters things a little bit. Also, you might want to think about getting a different color for this, maybe inverting the color. So make this white and the text maybe this blue color. It'll stand out much more. Outside of that, the logo should be smaller than what it is. I Probably by about 30%. It's just a little bit too close and a little bit too big, I think, so scale it down. Um, everything else here is pretty good. This section is, is, is fine. This is, this is pretty good. Good form right here. Good call to action. All right. Yeah, pretty solid here. Just a few things that could be improved. Let me know what you guys think it should be rated. Scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the orange divider things, personally. So we got a 7. We got a 5. Seven, six, eight. I do like the unique approach of the containers and how they're skewed. I mean, I think it definitely has a lot of potential. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say a seven. Um, maybe a six point eight. Um, but yeah, uh, good stuff though. Thanks for this. All right, thank you for the super chat uh, from Nicholas X. So we're going to uh, head over to find his real quick because he's now at the beginning of what the hell? Why can't I move this over of the line? And let me find it. Oh, who was going to be next after that? PRST. Okay. Um, so Nicholas uh IT for home. Okay, IT for home. And once I'm done with his review, I I will can't find it. Resume from the regular order. All right, I don't see IT for home in here. So Nicholas, I you know, what is the actual username right here? And I will get to it um, once you let me know because I don't see anybody named IT for... Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, let's do this one. This is a super chat. Again, once again, thanks a lot for that. It helps with the good old margarita fun for me tonight. <laughs> All right. Okay, we have some animation here, but I think the translation kind of screwed it up. I'm not going to translate it. Oh, that's nice. Look at that, guys. All right. Let's try that. Let's check that out again. Oh, that's cool. Very, very, uh, yeah, I like that. Let's continue on. That's cool. Nice, this is solid. I really don't have anything too negative to say. Like if I refresh this though. The this animation needs to come in quicker though, because you're sitting there for about a good two to three seconds before it even shows up. 
So it should be, um, you know, definitely maybe a half second at most before that shows in. Um, yeah, so outside of that, I cannot say there's anything that is too incorrect here. Look at, notice the usage of the white space here. This is all pretty solid. You could probably stand to move this up just a bit closer. I uh, we have an issue with the <laughs> the navigation screwing up here, um, but I, but yeah, I notice this. You know, people who are aspiring designers, they have a tendency to try to cram stuff together. But when you're on your a larger viewport like this, you don't have to. You can have this wide open areas like this, and it makes it look really nice. So yeah, what do you guys think this person should be given for a rating on a scale of one to ten? One being the worst, ten being the best. Let me know in the chat. We got a 10, 9, 9, 9. Especially that animation is pretty slick. Sorry, that's my phone. Uh... I'm going to give it a, yeah, nine, except I think maybe more like 8.7. And I, uh, yeah, otherwise it is solid. There's just a few things that were off, um, which I mentioned already. Uh, but thanks for the, uh, the super chat. Awesome. Very good design. Okay, let's continue on. It was PRST, I think, who was the next person up. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna refresh this. All right. Okay, let's scale down, or scroll down rather. All right, so looking at this, there's a few things, several things that I think could definitely be improved. Um, First, not sure what this is, maybe a logo of some sort, but then you have, uh, is this a theme by the way? Hopefully it's not a theme, well, whatever, I'll, I'll just critique it anyhow. Um, and this is way over here, is if it's a, like the name of the company or the, the service or something, uh, it should be condensed over here. Um, <clears throat> drop shadows are everywhere and this, this part, again, there's just a lot that's happening here that I don't agree with. Um, the, 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 the blue and the green that they don't go well together at all. The drop shadows don't work. Um, the titles of this section don't work because the images make it too hard to read. I would start over from scratch, honestly, not to be mean or anything, but I would, you need to spend some time understanding basic fundamentals, which I put out a free UI design course, I crash course. I on my channel earlier um, this year and definitely check that out and also go to inspiration sites for modern landing pages or even blog style designs like this um, to get some ideas I there is some things that are that are kind of you know going right here but for the most part the, there's there's a lot of that's happening incorrectly that it's just it, it takes too long for me to even mention all of them uh, so go back to the drawing board keep at it and you'll be good to go um, let's do the next one here. Oh, this is from my moderator. Oh, no. Probably going to get mad and start uh, kicking everybody if I don't give them a 10, right? Um, all right. So it's a bit of a mess. It's still very much a progress. It's a web panel for a Discord bot. Keep it short if you want so others can get review faster. Okay. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's click on this. Oh, yeah. I'm not even going to do bother doing a review for the other one. I'm going to give it a three, though. Um, for the other one that I just reviewed. All right, let's do this one. This is my mods. I uh, just this just this is just a graphic, by the way. Um, let's see here. Let me move this out of the way for a second so I can get a, a better grasp on what's happening. This is just a, it looks like more of like a template that's occurring here um, with you know the template inputs and, and the color scheme. 
Uh, yeah, this is pretty solid. Um, the one thing that's throwing me off, like, if I didn't see this stuff on the left, this little sidebar with all the crazy colors, like, throwing me off, I, I would like it better without this. Um, what I would probably do is scale these down just a little bit more. Um, and have some more separation between them. Just maybe a tad bit because they're just a little bit large for my, in my opinion. But outside of that, just looking from this panel, all, from the configuration panel, the general settings panel, it looks pretty solid. I, I, I don't really see anything that's an issue. Uh, the colors are all pretty good. So yeah, I actually like this. Um, there's not much here, of course, to do to do uh, any sort of like robust rating, um, but yeah. So I, I think we'll skip the rating part of this, um, just because, like I said, there's not enough. But it is solid, so good stuff. Keep at it. And by the way, everybody, if you do want me to review your submission, I'm not going to be able to get to all of them. Uh, you can send in a super chat right here and put in your amount down here, maybe like $500 or two, um, preferably five, and then mention your Discord username uh, and submit your design in Discord in the review submissions channel. Okay, next one up, the Angle Cliff Restaurant. Let's refresh to see if there's any animation. That's a lot of dinner served down there. <laughs> and they're all counting up. Um, I'll probably make that a little bit, speed up a little bit faster or get to the end point a little bit faster because it took a few seconds. Um, you can't scroll down and there's a strange bar at the top. It did say it was a little glitchy, right? Okay. Oh yeah, this is one of our regulars too in Discord. Um, let's check out another page all right interesting how this uh this side graphic kind of grows and it makes me really want to scroll down because it looks like it's cut off but i can't um okay so the first thing is this bar up here it looks like this is a repeating background graphic let me look at your, um, let's see here. No, it is a, it says it's part of a SVG. Let me see here. I'm trying to find where that background is, but make it a background cover. This graphic right here uh, and make sure it doesn't repeat up top. Okay. So, um, it, it, because otherwise it looks like there's supposed to be a navigation bar up here. Um, I may also adjust this color, this sort of SVG kind of bluish because it gets lost up here. So and you can't clearly, it's not clearly defined up in this area. Um, so I would try to remedy that with possibly a different color here. I like the, I like the contrast down here though. Um, outside of welcome, I would, I would change this a little bit and have a better ad copy for your headline um about the restaurant and for the about section let me see what happens here if i scale this in yeah you get to certain areas where i guess it stays in the middle but right here it's hard to read so i would rethink part of this layout in the way that you're doing it because you're not giving yourself very much room in this big container that you have for your content all right so uh, what do you guys think this rating should be given on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. Five, six point five, six, six. All right, I'm going to say a 5, but more like a 4.7 or 4.8. Um, I just think 
it, it's a very strange layout and this issue up here is really throwing it off um, up here uh, so make so, so make some of this change plus the the logo even gets lost up here so I would definitely make some changes to that I mean it has potential um, let's check out the next one this is for a client and it's 404 so sorry bro we cannot review that <laughs> um, oh broken there it is all right we got a fancy one let's refresh with some initial animation yeah so we have some animation down here um, <clears throat> this right here that's a big issue you can't see the logo so you're gonna need to remedy that somehow by changing up this image or something you need to increase the contrast there scroll down let's scroll down then oh so I like this so this is one of those things where it, it's using JavaScript to detect uh, if there's a, a scroll down in any certain point and if it does it'll it'll hijack the scroll in a sense and put you right into the very next section where they want you kind of to, to look so I'm just barely touching the down uh, scroll scroll wheel on my mouse and it's taking me right to those sections now some people you know don't like the whole uh, mouse hijacking but I, th I think in certain instances especially like this it's it's fine it's fine for me see because it stops working the mouse will stop working um, once it detects that you're going either up or down between these different sections of content I wonder what you're using uh, for this yeah okay I was curious maybe if GSAP was being used but uh, it's not all right so let's yeah this is solid I uh, looking at the design um, look at all this white space this is awesome uh, for this viewport completely fine I like the fact that they're bringing color by having you know a column of content right here um, some type of relevant image here and then they're completely changing up on the next section so it doesn't become too repetitive so this time we have a nice background image that still has a ton of contrast for the white foreground elements which is great same thing here and here again I might change things up between these two because they're they're quite similar but still it's not bad but in terms of design alone this is all great okay pretty nice there all right what do you guys think that this design should get the only one problem with the the, the scrolling uh, up and down oh this is cool too look at you can actually drag this see because if you're only using a mouse and you try to go up real fast you can't go fast however you could just drag this thing up and it takes you there that's slick I like that what do you guys think this person should get for a rating one being the worst 10 being the best it's called w appleizer I'm gonna give this a 9.5 and that is only because um, I think that I uh, you could go even more so maybe with different type of animations there was really no animations taking place at all here not to say that it should have animations but in order to get a 10 I like to kind of see everything um, executed correctly in that was just one element that was missing nobody's got a 10 yet but several 9.5s though maybe about three or four of those and you're one of them very good job awesome stuff all right let's do the next one here's my UX portfolio um, before I get to this though I, because I, every 30 minutes and I do this for about an hour um, so um, not much more I will do this but I do like to mention my sponsor which is skillshare.com and that's a little graphic overlay over there uh, where you can get access to thousands of courses um, 
in the topics of UI and UX design, web development, graphic design, illustration, you name it, they have it. Uh, I'm going to be putting out a course here very soon and I on, on Skillshare actually. So a lot of what I'm talking about here, you can learn uh, in these reviews, you can learn about design fundamentals, UI, UX, all this stuff. Uh, so definitely take advantage of the, the free two months link that you can access all these courses for free. Okay. Also, um, thank you very much, Mike. I uh, don't need to read it. Just love your videos. Awesome, man. Thanks very much. That definitely helps out with the margarita fun. And if anybody else wants to, to help, I uh, destroy my liver. No, I don't drink that much, but I, uh, you can definitely send in a super chat, um, and also get a review if you want. Okay. So, um, the next one is, let me close out some of my browser windows on the side here. The next one is from Darth Vader UX. Ooh, okay, I like this already. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's refresh this. Okay, so there, there's no animation occurring outside of this this back this um, the background graphic, which these are pretty interesting. I mean, there's a lot of these particles, and they're they're going pretty fast. It could be just slightly overdone. Um, but outside of that, I, I do do like uh, the actual design and layout from what I see. Very simple up here. Um, this is a good headline right there. This is all good. All right. I would spread these out a little bit further. Um, just a tad bit more than the space that you have right here. Um, especially with this. It's kind of... With this particular graphic for the thumbnail, it kind of just it it, um, it makes it hard to see this container part. That's fine though, but I, I think it should be scaled out or positioned a little bit further. These two things, but outside of that, this is all quite solid, very simple. Um, but simple is always going to beat the cluttered messes that I see sometimes. Um, so this is just a portfolio down here about me. Resume, don't want to see that. Okay. Uh, what do you guys think this person should be rated for their portfolio? Um, a one being the be or worst and 10 being the best. Let me know what you think. I don't think the, the font's too bad here. I think it's actually pretty decent. Do think there's an unnecessary amount of space right here between about me and this section? Yeah, um, I'm going to give it. Yeah, people are saying six, eight, six, eight, six, seven, seven, six, eight. I'm going to give it a a seven, but really like a six point eight, maybe a seven. Because I really do like simplicity. Um, I maybe even a little bit more than a seven. I just think the things need to be spaced out a little bit more. Um, and this section is kind of a an issue right here. If you get to this part of the layout, there's just too much space right here. Uh, but this is solid overall. Very good stuff. All right, let's check out the next one. Uh, Let's open the original. Just got an image here to look at. All right. This is Jelly's Barber Shop or Jelly or I don't know how you would pronounce that. Um, home about us, service con. Okay, that's pretty pretty good. Pretty good background image here. Uh, I'm gonna make this. Can I make this larger? There we go. Um, when you look good, you feel good. That's a pretty good. I like the uh, the the headline add copy book now F simple works people could see it it's a button it's clear opening hours this is solid right here um, barbershop good white space all around it's equal that's another important thing to get right equal white space from the top left and bottom uh, good uh, visual hierarchy with the the headline and the, the supporting text it's separated well a different font which works it's a serif font with the sans serif font down here um, it's bold it's larger this is I uh, even grayed out but it still has a good amount of uh, contrast so that you can see it well enough this section here is good 
separate it out well with good white space, um, good padding in white space inside of these sections. So this is this is what it's all about. This is good. Nice little watermark with the quotes in the back for the testimonial section. Uh, yeah, this is solid. I think the only thing that can be improved um, would be possibly this section right here. It just kind of feels a little bit bland. Um, so I would do something possibly different in this section. But other than that, everything else is solid here. I don't see anything wrong with the rest of it. So what do you guys think that this person should get from a rating of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best? All right, I'll say, I'm going to say, I will say 8.5, simply because one, it's it's just an image, and unfortunately, I can't interact with it in the browser, um, and two, this part up here, I think it could definitely be improved. Um, in, from, in, in terms of actual, oops, sorry, in terms of this part right here, in terms of actual design, it's 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 solid. Uh, there's nothing wrong, but uh, I think something else could be done up there. Good stuff. We're getting some good entries uh, this time, this week. Let's do the next one. All right. So this one, had no animation. I did translate it. You are selling more than web. Wait, you are selling more with web automation. Okay. Um, all right. Let's come down. Okay. So there's this is an interesting design because there's some things that are done well and then some things that aren't. Uh, so it's a bit of a mix of both. I really like this section. I like you know the fact that it's black and. Um, you can see the logo, you can see this part, you can see this. Then you get down here, the I want to know more button kind of gets lost with being in the same hue as the person's skin. Um, and also, I want to know more. I would bold that, text transform it to uppercase, and make it a little bit smaller than what it is. More white space on the edges. Um, this over here, probably the same comment. It doesn't have to be uppercase, but it needs more white space inside of the container. Just a little bit. Uh, up here, about services contact, and I want a budget. I would make this white and make the text black probably so you could see it better. Also, hmm, this is kind of tough. Maybe maybe I darken this up so that about service and contact can, can, see, can be seen better. Good white space up here, though. Come down here, though. Um, we have a little bit of a clutter issue. This area right here should be um, maybe in a container that's either like maybe like a light gray. And then you so you could separate this and then push all this content starting from here and here down. So it needs spread out and it needs separated through color for this background in this little container up here. Um, this right here, we are a digital agency and then we have this part should probably be pushed down in the center vertically with this element. Um, I, I do like this part in this little quote right here that's over on this part. Maybe a little bit much on the drop shadow. This part's really going to need to be improved. I see you tried to do something different with uh, the container, but it just looks off because um, the, the Bezier curves right here is just, it's barely noticeable and then, and then it just kind of flattens out. I would just probably get rid of that entirely or execute it better and just make it a, like a, or you could just make it flat and have none of that stuff here. Um, more, you probably want more space between these elements and these cards right here. And again, a uh, slightly smaller font, more white space inside. All right, what do you guys think this person should get for their design um, on this UI? A one being the worst, 10 being the best. You could submit a WordPress site, but I mean, really, it should be 
uh, a design that you did yourself. All right, so we got some seven, six, four, five, 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 four, four, four. I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna give it a five. Yeah, a five. Um, I it has some, it has a lot of potential up here. Really like this area, uh, but coming down here and then some of the other stuff, especially. And I, I keep on doing that. I forget to switch off. But yeah, this area is solid. Um, but then we come down here and some of the other areas uh, just need to be improved. Thank you for the submission. All right, let's go on to the next one. Um, where am I at? I hate how this jumps the hell around. Um, was it this one that I just did? Yes, okay, cool. Hi there, I'm setting my portfolio. I'm excited to hear something from you. Okay. It's loading, loading, loading. Another translate page. All right, let's do this. It's trying to translate this on the fly. That's kind of funny. Woo. Okay, that's a big image. All right, got some issues that I will mention. Okay, so I like the white space here initially. Um, probably separate these out vertically, more white space between them. Um, probably make this go quicker, just because you don't want people to sit there and have to read through all this stuff, um, or wait to see it, rather. Um, this is way too large. <laughs> Funny effect that you have on there. I would scale it down big time so that you have more white space in this section, in this column. Um, another big issue, there's a really cool um, I have a plugin called Contrast that I use. Contrast with a K. I, I think it does cost us like a few bucks. That's all it is, I think. Um, and if you click auto right here and you choose, or if you choose inspect and you choose some of the, this element right here, gonna tell you yes it fails readability it is not there's not enough contrast and then you click auto we'll choose double a and really the the font is also too light I would use a, a slightly heavier weight for this font and it, that will too make it more readable because you can barely see any of this stuff you got to increase that contrast otherwise I do like the design of this section right here um, coming down here yeah this is this is fine. I mean, the, the animation in the background is kind of cool, but make it slower, kind of a little bit hard to see. Again, contrast issues here. You want to push, this is a little bit strange. The 12X, this part that's real big all, all of a sudden kind of makes you think that there's four different separate blips here, but it looks like they're part of the same sort of thing. There's only two. So scale those down big time, make them the same size of this, but maybe just put emphasis in a different manner, make them a different color or make them bold. Um, this part's pretty cool. I like that. Again, contrast issues. I do like the design otherwise. Yeah. All right. What do you guys think? Uh, scale 1 to 10. 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. What should this person get? All right, so nine eight six nine uh, six six seven six eight six six six. Yeah. Um, I will say six point six. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, there's there's areas that are solid, but there's just a few things uh, that are you know. Preventing it from being really solid, uh, like the, the the contrast issue, this issue right here, way too large. Um, this issue, just, just small things. Um, otherwise, I could, a good designer just need to be more consistent and, and fix a, a couple things in there. Um, let's do this one, ice space. All right, I could see this kind of, well, okay. This up here, not enough contrast at all. For this, I, I assume this is a navigation up here, and this is just a background, so you can't really, you need to differentiate those things more. Um, 
right here. This is kind of like a mobile thing. All right. This is okay. Maybe separate. Make this smaller. There's not enough happening for me to give a, a solid critique uh, or even worth rating. Um, again, this down here. Your elements need more room to breathe, so you have an issue of um, uh, white space, essentially, um, in, or negative space. You can refer to it how you wish. This part up here is pretty cool. I like the, the, the design, um, but these it gets a little bit cluttered, especially on this screen. But again, there's too many random things happening. I'm not even going to bother with a rating. Um, ideally, the ratings are coming from projects that are live and such. <clears throat> All right, now I've seen this before and somebody let me know, this is a template from a tutorial project from what's his name, um, Brad Traversy. Am I right? Let me know in the comments because I know he has a real popular tutorial and I think I've seen this before. I swear I've seen this. Yeah, so I'm not even, I'm not even, I, I'm not going to rate this because <laughs> I've done this already. All right. Um, closing out some browser windows over here. Um, yeah, I, if you're going to sub submit or something for me to review, make sure it's something you did yourself. All right, can you review a small website? It's a work in progress. <laughs> Look at that guy. There's something suspicious he's looking over there. All right, uh, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, or going up. All right, several issues. First, I don't like this pattern where, you know, you're putting navigations kind of in the middle of the page or in some other page other than, you know, top left vertical style navigation or a having a horizontal navigation up here. So first put that up there because people really expect it, it makes it easier to use. And that that's all a UX thing there. Um, we make films real close to the coming soon, push that down. Um, this is kind of bland. I mean, I'll tell you, I mean, yep, you can understand it. Our office, just with a square graphic right here, I would maybe put thumbnails because you're showing multiple and you're kind of transitioning th between them um, you could use a slider possibly to make it more interesting or um, just you know thumbnail a few thumbnails right here um, I don't know if people really care about your office so when you're prioritizing your content and showing pictures of your office that's that's less important than letting people know more about what you actually do outside of just we make films maybe they want to see the films first instead of your office all right um looking at this this is a little card based design um i would left align this if you're going to have this start over here so left align that and it'll make it flow a little bit better i would probably simplify the type a little bit more stick to sans serif you can't really go wrong i wouldn't i would not in this in this context mix these uh, serif with sans serif um yeah down here why is this moved over like it completely throws off the flow of the layout of this particular section all right so what do you guys think the peep that this person should get for the rating on a scale of one to ten one being the worst ten being the best old nostalgic style of website designing Some things happening, right? Get some white space here. All right, I'm going to give it a three. I have seen much worse. So keep at it, though. And you'll get it. It's like me trying to like shred like Ingve Malmsteen. I just bought his signature guitar uh, a few days ago. Um, actually, I got it yesterday. And so. Um, yeah, it's not easy. It's not going to happen just by playing in a year. Okay, um, let's go. I Let's see here. We're at 50 minutes. I'll be doing this for probably, you know, 10, maybe 15 more minutes. Um, I will mention real quickly, if you want me to review your design, 
I'm not going to be able to get to all of them. Send in a super chat. If I sound like a broken record, it's only because people keep filtering in and out of the live stream. So I just want to mention this. Um, you click on the chat, the super chat. You put in an amount, and then you mention your Discord username, and you submit in the review submissions channel. You can find the Discord link in the YouTube link below to join up. Okay. Uh, and by the way, that does help me with my margarita fund um, tonight because I do have margaritas on Friday nights. And sometimes, no, usually it's just Friday nights. I'll, I'll have other alcohol and other. All right, I'll just shut up. Um, let's see here. Um, let's uh, please check my portfolio. Was that the one that? Yeah, I think that's the next one. All right, bro. Here we go. Let's refresh. Some animation animation occurs. All right, we got some issues right off the bat. I'm gonna scale or scroll down. Why do he keeps on saying scale down? Scroll based animations. Okay. <sighs> All right. Here is a big issue. We we have a massive massive issue with alignment. This starts here, right on this section. This one starts all the way over here, just next to the browser. Has no room to breathe. Uh, and then you have this part st starting right over here. No, <laughs> keep things more simplified. If you're gonna start this here, start. I'm a front end developer in this block of text right here at the same area, and then put get started right here as well. Also, get rid of the bevel on this and this strange outer glow that you have. You want to simplify things much more, and it will definitely improve your situation. The gray, the, the yellow to gray gradient that you have placed onto this text, it, it's, it, it, the gray doesn't look good. Maybe change it to white down here, and it would be much better and effective. Now, when I first scrolled down, we had a performance issue because you had a massive amount of anima animation occurring. It, look, it gets jaggy. The browser stops because you have too much occurring. So you definitely want to simplify that. And if you're going to have the images like this, you're going to want to put like a stroke, a nice white, big, thick stroke so that you have separation between these graphics or these photos so that they're not all overlaid like that. This over here, I, I like the button, but left align it, push it down a little bit further from the text. This over here, I would simplify these cards. There's too much happening. It's way too cluttered. I uh, so I would I would work on simplifying them in, in some way shape or form This right here is pretty solid this design assuming you designed it yourself uh, This is this section is perfect as far as I'm concerned in terms of design the, This right here when you have the the back this this watermark make that even less Contrast so you can e more easily read this educate this this title right here I would, I would get rid of this this element here and just have this be like black or something like that because it's just too many things happening between these two elements. And then this completely needs changed because uh, it's hard to read. You have way too many effects occurring uh, on the buttons for sure. You want to simplify that so much more. Make it white. That's it. Just a plain white button with uh, black text or, or some other you know element, some other color that contrasts well with white. Um, I want to do this in terms of viewer, user experience. I know it's cool. You can do it. You know, you have the know-how, but that doesn't mean you should. Just have the read more button at the bottom. It, seriously, because it, it, you, you suddenly, if people want to read it and they hover over and then it, it hides it, so definitely don't do that. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I'm, I'm laughing at the comments, not the, not the design. Uh, yeah, th these need condensed, you know, put the icon here, get it away from the top. Uh, yeah, so really go to Google type card design inspiration or Google card material, whatever, and try to get some uh, inspiration for that. So what do you guys think this person should be rated? Scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the best, right? Nope, 1 being the worst and 10 being the best.
Somebody said a two, and he's not proud of that. He's looking right at you. He's saying, don't you dare give me a low, a low score. All right, I'm going to say, I'll say a three. Um, you know, the one redeeming quality was this section right here. I like that. All right, so let's go ahead and reset that. Thank you for the submission, by the way. Keep at it, man. Definitely check out my free UI design crash course if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, we got Doge right here. I'm waiting for it to load. All right, something's happening here. Oh, it's auto scrolling through these uh, sections. Okay. Um, all right, so this is definitely interesting. Very unique layout that we have occurring here. So there was like an auto scroll type thing where it was going through. Let me just check some of these out. Kind of just some photographs here. Okay. Yeah, overall this isn't too bad. This is kind of like a like a, a gallery of some sorts. Um, with white space around here. Be nice to have a little bit more white space just up here, because you can tell there's more up here. Um, and, and kind of put some white space underneath that section right there. Um, other than that, uh, everything else is pretty solid. I, I understand, you know, you want people to see the photos. Maybe give them somewhere. You can see that, okay, there's an About Us page. Okay. So this is, this is not too bad. This is pretty solid. A very different type of UI uh, or a nav having it over here in this manner. Not too sure about that, but it is different. And, and the design here is all pretty solid. All right, so what do you think this person should get rated for their design? A one being the worst and 10 being the best. One thing that's unfortunate, I can't scroll down. So you should be able to scroll in order to access these other areas instead of having to use this navigation here. All right, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven. Uh, so there's just a, the, a couple uh, that usability issue. Um, but yeah, otherwise solid. Let's check out who's next. Close some browser windows out here. I will do. Um, I'm gonna do one more. Whoever's next in line, and then I will do like a Q and A thing in the YouTube chat. And also, I wait if people want to. You know, I'll wait like a minute or two, or while I'm doing the YouTube chat to see if you know people who want me to do their UI or their their design review send a super chat, and I will do it before I conclude today. You just send it here, put in your Discord username, and I will do the review. Okay, let's close this out. Uh, the next one was Jordan. This is going to be the last free one. Otherwise, you guys, you're just going to have to pay. I'm sorry. Okay. Wait, did I see this already? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I had, There was a very similar layout that I did earlier in the stream uh, that I thought was the same one. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, let's scroll down. We got a chick looking over here at this stuff over there. Got a, a pretty nice section right there. Ooh, we have some issues. Okay, so first, you have on this this viewport. Oops, uh, you have uh, you have spaced a lot of space in this hero section. You could probably push things down vertically a little bit more. Everything's scrunched up here in the middle. So I would uh, adjust that, you know, push these down, push these down a little bit as well. Um, just spread them out a little bit further. 
Um, outside of that, this is solid. You can see this. Um, you got a logo right here. In this area, I would not use white for this. I would use, I mean, I would, I would not use black for this. I would use white for all of this stuff, for the foreground stuff. Um, just to, if I can take this color white. And that's much better. Of course, you want to make the icons uh, white as well. You see, you can see it right here, and they just they they it's it's much easier to see. I like this very cool sort of um, gallery with with uh, some space between them. That works. Kind of makes you want to click on them though. And this right here definitely has to be improved. Um, you know, there there's. Uh, there are people who, you know, and there's a right way of doing this when it comes to overlaying like titles and subtitles on the content, but this would definitely not be the, the, the right way to do it. Um, let me see if I could possibly screw around um, with this. Um, let's change this New York text to New York capital. Um, and I'm changing to monster at my favorite font letter spacing let's get rid of that and let's make the size um so it's it's already improved uh, uh what was that for? it's already improved quite a bit from what it was initially in my in my opinion I uh, but still I I'm not sure if I uh, that would be even the right approach maybe move it over quite a bit so the end starts over here so it's not so overlaid um, and then this right here the letter spacing or the line height kind of needs to be improved and um, over here this is pretty fine this is not bad All right, what do you guys think this uh, design should be rated on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. <laughs> 10 for the picture. has potential in certain areas I do agree um, there's just a couple things that were quite quite a fair amount off but not too, not too off I really like this area because that's a good way for to have these type of um, images good white space all around I'm gonna say I'll round up though I'll say like a 6.8, 6.7, in my opinion. I, I should have said, I should have gave a seven there if I was gonna round up, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, all right. Very solid stuff for the most part. I, we had a lot of good entries today. Um, I'll do, I'll hang around in the chat just a bit and I, Sorry, I'm reading stuff. And I'll, I'll answer some questions here. And I will, I uh, you know, give you guys an opportunity. If one of you people who submitted, you know, who wanted me to review your design, all the people down here, and I, and I wasn't able to, you can do a super chat by clicking this in the, the, uh, the YouTube chat. Click here, put in a certain amount, and then put your, your Discord username. And then I will review it. But I'm only going to be hanging around for a few more minutes, so you have to do it fast. Uh, I'll answer some questions. I also want to mention my sponsor real quick, which is Skillshare.com. They sponsor all these live streams, as well as a lot of the content on my channel, um, just the regular video uploads as well. But it's a I, this is a site or a service where you can join using my link over here to get two free months 
100% free, like I said, and they have thousands of classes on learning UI, UX design in video tutorial format. And a lot of them have projects that you can, you can do as well uh, after you watch the course. Um, graphic design, uh, just tons. Web development, uh, a lot of different things that you can learn by using Skillshare. So definitely check them out and join the two free months using my coupon code. It's also in the YouTube description. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and check out some chats. Oh, also, I did want to once again mention that we have a design challenge uh, that we're starting every week. To the, this is going to be the very first design challenge right here. Uh, and you go to the Discord server, you click on this week's challenge, and it's going to let you know. It's going to be a logo design challenge for a fictional company called Splitter. And it's a based on a nap idea that allows roommates to split the bills, you know, the different bills they have between each other. And your task is to create a logo for this. So I have rules about, you know, what you need to do. No more than three entries. Uh, the logo must include splitter, et cetera, et cetera. It's going to show you how to submit it. It's going to show you, you use a bot command to submit and it messages you and then you provide a URL of your image. And the deadline is next Thursday. So roughly seven days, six days or so. Uh, and, and the submission deadline is at 12 a.m. Eastern time, so Thursday night, uh, which is March 7th. And myself and my moderators will choose the winner, and we will announce it on next Friday's live stream, seven days from now. Uh, and, uh, and I also mentioned the uh, uh, have some honorable mentions. I'm not going to be doing like reviews, uh, but I, I am going to. We are going to choose um, winners, and I will mention them. All right, let's check out the chat here. All right, I'll start right here reading this. Can't super chat. Don't have a credit card. Is there another way? Polly, uh, I'll, I'll probably stay around for just a couple, few more minutes. Um, but if you want to send PayPal, you can go. Gary, you, you, you can send it to. I'll mention it here. It's Gary at GarySimon.net. That's my PayPal. And then just message me um, in Discord what your PayPal address is, and then I will verify it. Um, but you have to do it right now. And I, uh, yeah, and I, I won't open up your uh, your message on screen in Discord. I won't show people that. All right, uh, last sip. Let's do. Okay, morning. Should a div always go inside a grid cell and then other elements inside that div, or can you put the elements in the grid cell? Can you, have you read or recommend? Don't make me think. So no. And I'm not really too certain about what you're talking about. I uh, should a div always go inside a grid cell and then other elements inside that div, or can you just put the elements in the grid cell? So if you're, we're talking about the CSS grid, I'm not exactly certain about what you mean, but I do know you can put and as many elements inside that you want inside of a grid cell, but you do have to be certain to um, accommodate that and structure them with the other CSS grid properties. I'm not sure if I exactly know what you mean though. This this stuff can usually be, um, it's, it's better to, to have like a code pen or something to demonstrate maybe what you're talking about. Um, Uh, I, I wouldn't have a lot of data with display none. N no, I wouldn't do that. Um, if you can, it, it depends. Separating them into different pages, it, it depends on if it makes sense to have different pages. Is it better to use WordPress or to code it uh, if, you, if you have a blog? Um, Generally, I stay away from WordPress itself just because I haven't I haven't used it in quite a while. Although I am going to be doing a tutorial, a course crash course on the latest WordPress, um, probably next month or this month actually. Um, but uh, if you can stick with a, um, a super simple and clean theme, or if you make it yourself, one that doesn't have a ton of plugins so they can load fast, then yeah, uh, you can use it. In an ideal world, everything would be coded from scratch, but you know that that's not a necessity. 
Um, Which framework is best for converting XD design to life? I'm not even sure if I would recommend one if there is one out there because usually when it comes to these tools that will take mock-ups, they even had that back in the day with Photoshop, I think. Uh, and they take mock-ups and then try to output code. The code is always garbage for the most part. All right, no problem. Snack one. <sighs> All right, thanks a lot, Austin. Awesome stuff. Any new video about Adobe XD web design coming soon? Um, mm, yeah, maybe. But I usually, I already did several of those, so I don't like to like oversaturate that type of content. There is a course that I'm working on, a course project at this point, um, and then I'll record it uh, where I'm going crazy. Um, I'm really trying to create a, a, in like a awwards.com a worthy sort of landing page um, with GSAP animation, a, a nice robust dev environment um, set up in just a lot of, it's going to probably be several hours launch for just this one page, uh, this course, and it's going to be a premium course. So that's one thing that's coming soon. And, and as well, I will cover the design in Adobe XD. So from, from the very mock-up design and prototype design in XD all the way to the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript uh, with a really nice design with a lot of things happening in terms of JavaScript. Uh, which are some of the best slider plugins? I'm not sure of any off the top of my head. I don't really use them enough. I've covered a few of them. All right, so I'm going to go check out this real quick. I'll answer some of these other questions real quick. Um, I'm logging into PayPal on my other screen right here. Um, can I get a front end work with HTML, CSS, and Java? I'm not sure what that, that comment means. Um, uh, let's see. Do you have general thoughts on freelancing in the United States when you're competing with prices from designers overseas? Uh, yeah, that's one of the unfortunate things. And it's not just you're not getting competition just from them. Of course, you're getting competition from um, the design spec sites like 99designs.com, the competition sites. You're getting you're getting competition from sites like Wix.com and all that. So it is a very saturated marketplace. But it, it, when I did freelance work and I did a ton of logo designs because uh, I ranked well on Google. Um, the thing is, you first and foremost have to have a great portfolio that people like uh, when the work is great. And then second, you need to know marketing. Uh, you're always going to have competition out there uh, dealing with that. And, and a lot of times the overseas people, you know, they're on Fiverr.com. They're getting people who don't want to spend a lot of money already. Uh, and those aren't the clients that you really want in the first place. Uh, so as long as you can get the traffic and market yourself uh, and your work is good, you will find good playing, paying clients. That's what I did. I worked. I, I learned search engine optimization. I ranked very well for tons of logo design keywords. I had a portfolio. I let people order. And I got for five or six years a logo order every day. <laughs> that was, that was uh, crazy times back then. Uh, so it's definitely still doable. Um, good. Okay, cool. I am going to do, uh, I'll, I'll answer a, a couple other questions here, but because somebody did do a super chat or not a super chat, they PayPal'd me. Um, can you let me know where, what site I need to, let me know your, uh, Tom, let me know your uh, Discord username so that I know. Uh, maybe I'll go look right now because I do see your username here. Um, where are we at? Uh, review submissions. There it is. All right, I'm going to do this. is going to be the last one. Um, I'm not taking any more reviews. Uh, don't even super chat me. This is going to be the very last one. It's a dashboard. Thank you very much, by the way 
for the super chat. I'll come back and answer some of the other questions after I do this quick review. All right, so we kind of have a, yeah, this kind of feels like a um, Google material sort of design with the, the cards and the, um, the the subtle drop shadows, but there's a lot happening here because it's like a dashboard, which is okay. Um, I don't see anything, any major issues. Maybe this logo right here is kind of close with these, these buttons. I would probably push them over, right align them a little bit more, bring them a little bit closer together and maybe scale this down possibly although you can barely read the slogan um coming over here this i would put more space around this push this out from the edge more so it has more room uh and push this line over here okay that's pretty good um i would probably left the line these titles to start with the very beginning of the inputs so date starts here um this okay good white space right here but not an equal amount of white space there so i, I would sp spread these out you know the differences in the the white space or the negative space between these elements does impact the overall uh, you know the the just the quality of the design the ui design really um so i would just change all these like where there's hardly any spread them out more make them more like this up here that amount of white space outside of that these are all pretty solid the way i see see this we have a guided tour here this is solid the way it's designed and presented with some animation so that's nice uh yeah this is all pretty good here uh those who are still here we have 90 people watching if you want to rate this what do you think scale one to ten one being the worst ten being the best i'm gonna say um, also, I could probably make the, I would either make this bold or scale this down a little bit. There's just not enough separation between them uh, in, the, in terms of uh, the type. Yeah, for what this is, I, I agree. I'm going to say a 7.5. Yeah, because it it's, it's mostly good. And there's just a few things that were slightly off, which all could be fixed in a matter of a few minutes, really. So uh, thank you for that super chat. I'll answer a couple more questions here. Uh, I think there were some more. Um, when that moment when my question doesn't show up for Gary, what, did you have a question, JBS? Well, where is it? What do you think is the most important UX and UI mistake many people are making in design? Uh, whew, that's a hard question to, to come up on the top of my head well i can only speak from my experience here based on the reviews that i do um the single most uh, it has to do with design fundamentals of course um i would say it's a toss-up between al alignment and white space uh, people are like putting text elements here 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 i see that a lot um and maybe even contrast. It's, I mean, I'm sure it's all almost very close. People are making these the, the, the common mistakes between design fundamentals almost equally when it comes to like contrast and color, uh, white space and all that. Uh, when it comes to UX and stuff like that, it, the biggest problem is people overdoing it and overthinking it, trying to add like unnecessary animations when you hover over things and I uh, just just because they have the tools and the knowledge and the JavaScript know how to do certain things they do it and they shouldn't I uh, but they think they should so that's the big issue I think in the UX front um, one more question is it true that disadvantage of WordPress is its susceptibility to various cyber attacks I haven't researched that honestly um, but it is, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, if you have all these third-party plugins there, that just introduces more code uh, in the form of JavaScript, probably, um, that makes it easy for people to attack these sites. How can I receive notification when someone sent me a new message without getting method from API? Veggie dinner? Yeah, and I'm really going to try to answer code questions here for this. Um, sorry. Maybe go to the help uh, section. Um, or one of the relevant um, 
backend sections of Discord that I have here. We have new sections over here. I restructured everything. So we have front end help and back end help right here. Uh, let's continue on. Uh, what does a JavaScript developer need to be hired today? You know, I, I haven't really looked on any like the job search boards and see what they're requiring. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to answer that very well. But I would say just off the top of my head, obviously understanding basic JavaScript first, uh, especially ES6+, plus, and then having the knowledge of one of the, the three giant JavaScript frameworks or libraries under your belt would be, you know, a necessity. I would, at this point, it's a necessity in this day and age. Uh, understanding uh, React is the most in-demand one, and then comes Angular and or Vue. Vue's becoming more popular, or it was at least. I haven't researched it lately, so just having that under your belt. Um, um, is making WebGL websites to satisfy awards worth it well if your goal is to get on awards then yeah it's worth it <laughs> uh, I, I a lot of those though um, are using GSAP um, which is the Greenstock animation platform uh, to do it uh, to get on there as well um, and uh, some of them are overdone I mean, they're really nicely designed but performance does suffer uh, if they're over and do it but some of them are nice and smooth and that's going to be my goal for uh, the premium course coming out for the project I create. Any recommendations for a tutorial on what and when certain fonts and colors should be used? Not really. Um, outside of just going and trying to get inspiration and understanding the design fundamentals themselves, not really. I don't have anything like uh, off the top of my head in terms of suggestions for content. Um, Maybe making sites between Max is better performance wise. I can still make some cool stuff. Yeah, for sure. All right, everybody. That is it. It's been an hour and 20 minutes already. And I will uh, do this again next week. Uh, again, check out the sponsor, Skillshare.com, and also hang out in the Discord server. I'm always there. And you can also um, go ahead and enter the new design challenges. I'll see you guys later.